Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy Simon with 3D Universe and I'm joined today by Jose Delgado. Thanks yeah. for joining. Thanks. And uh, Jose has been using these 3D printed assisted devices uh, for several years now. I made uh, this one here, which is a cyborg beast design, and I made this for him about three years ago. And these are mechanical designs, so they work simply by bending the wrist. Uh, there's cords, tension cords in here that cause the fingers to bend. And then there's flexible elastic cords in this design that cause the fingers to go back. So it's a very simple design, no electronic components, which makes them very inexpensive to make. This one here cost about $35 to produce. And uh, it worked for Jose for about three years, right? And then uh, one of the pieces finally broke. So he brought it back and I, I did a rebuild on this one, did some repair work, but I also made a new design, which he's wearing today. That's called the Osprey Hand. And uh, that one's a little bit different because it's made with some leather components and some other things that make it a little bit stronger and more robust, which I'll, I'll show you a close-up on that in a, in a short while. Um, so you've been using that one for, what, a few weeks now, right? Yes. Okay, so um, why don't we start with just kind of talking about how both designs have been for you. Now, this one you used the longest, the Cyborg Beast. So you had about three years of experience with that. How, how was that one to use in general? This one's a lot lighter. And this one's a little bit heavier. A little heavier, okay. Yeah, so it's, it does better work because it's a little, has more uh, strength than it. And, uh, I feel it when I, when I grasp. This one's not as hard, but this one's a little bit. So it's got a better grip strength, yeah. you're saying? You can hold things better yeah. with it? Okay, that's good to hear. That was the hope with that design. It was designed for uh, a, an older um, individual. Rather, Some of these devices are, are more commonly used with smaller children. Uh, this particular design, which was designed by Peter Binkley, um, was developed for an older individual, and uh, so it was made to be more robust and stronger. And uh, so that was my hope that that might work out better for you. Um, the Cyborg Beast design, by the way, was uh, produced by uh, Dr. Jorge Zuniga and uh, has, has since sort of evolved into some of these other designs that are made by the Enable volunteer community. And I'll include a link to that community and some of these designs down in the video notes. The uh, Osprey design that uh, you're wearing today, that, like I said, that has some leather components in it, so it's a little bit more expensive to make, but not much. It's still uh, about $50 or less to make one of these devices uh, compared to the when these devices are professionally produced, they can easily run into the thousands. Uh, it really depends on what kind of device is being made and the kind of materials that are being used, but they're certainly a lot more expensive when they're produced professionally. Now, that doesn't mean that it's an apples to apples comparison either. I mean, those professional devices uh, certainly can hold up better. They're made with often carbon fiber components so they can be stronger. Um, and uh, so a lot more goes into them and they can be more expensive. But uh, because of how these are made using a 3D printer to produce the plastic components, and just some very inexpensive materials to complete the assembly. In this case, it's just some, some metal, uh, they're called Chicago screws, um, and uh, some foam padding, and some Velcro, um, and uh, some cords, both uh, uh, flexible cords and non-flexible cords. And in the case of the Osprey, it's very similar, except you have some leather components, uh, and uh, instead of these thin cords and the flexible cords, that design uses a uh, nylon monofilament that both uh, causes the fingers to bend and retract. So it's a push-pull mechanism, operates a little bit differently, and that's part of what gives it its strength. Um, would you mind taking that off for me just for yeah. a moment? I can, I can show how that one works. So this Osprey design, you can see, has a, a leather uh, sort of cuff that goes around the arm, and uh, ideally that's supposed to make it more comfortable uh, for the user. Is this fairly yeah. comfortable to wear? Yeah. So that, and that leather will keep breaking in over time. It's only been a few weeks, so the more you use this, the more comfortable it should get as it kind of molds itself to you. Um, so it's got a leather piece that covers the palm here, as well as uh, a piece that goes around the arm. It also uses these uh, uh, um, uh, Velcro, or not Velcro, but uh, straps with buckles, uh, which are, are those easy for you to put on uh, in doing it one-handed? Good, okay. So a uh, couple of buckles to put that on, and then we've put some, uh, some rubber. Um, these are actually from uh, gloves that we, we bought online. Some uh, I don't remember the name of these. I'm going to have to look that up, and I'll include it with the video. But they're these um, sort of uh, uh, rubber, uh, you know, grip gloves that we cut off the fingers and put on to, to provide a better grip. 
So uh, as you can see here in the close-up, this design uses uh, a thick nylon monofilament, and that's the only set of, of uh, sort of tension cords or, or tendon lines that are in this design. So those operate both to, to bend the fingers as well as to pull them back. And that's part of what gives it a, a stronger grip strength because you're not relying on uh, those, those thin cables and the, the elastic cords. So, um, so which over the last few weeks, which of these have you found yourself relying on more? The Osprey. A lot more. Yeah. Okay, so that's so. Tell me a little bit more, other than other than the grip strength. Is there anything else that you like more about that? That's this made one it I more? like is yeah, the cover, but uh, I'd like to know how how these are adjusted because I could adjust these, put these. Okay, that's a good question. So in this case, there's um, there's these set screws in the back. You see them right there. There's yeah. a whole grid full of them. So there's these set screws that you would use with an, and there's, you can use an appropriate sized Allen wrench. And what we would do is we'd, we'd loosen those so there's two of them for each line. So this line oh, here okay. is controlled by those two, and then these two control the next line, and then oh, these two. So there's a pair of these for each one of these lines. And what we'd have to do is just loosen those two screws, and that would let us loosen this line, which connects to this finger, and, and so on across. So it's not hard to do, and I can give you an appropriate sized Allen wrench today that you can take with so you can make those adjustments. Um, but that's all there is to it. You just loosen oh, those, okay. those two uh, set screws there, and then you can adjust the fingers to whatever tension you need them to be. Because I, I think you reset these, and I like the way the, the little finger comes first. Ah, okay, good yeah, point. Yeah, you're right. So that, that little finger comes in a yeah. little bit sooner, yeah. and that's that's kind of an ideal yeah. gripping pattern. I might, yeah, I might not have gotten that quite right on this one. This was my first attempt at assembling. Yeah, I can see what you mean there. That little finger isn't coming it's in kind of, quite enough. It's a little loose from it, what I or It is. Okay, so yeah, we can tighten up that little finger and uh, give you a better grip there. Uh, okay. All right. So, uh, Jose, you work as a box handler, right? Yeah. So you're you're using this to literally lift things all day yeah. long, and it's held up well, I take oh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. This is a lot of heavy, heavier duty than that one. Okay. And this one held up for three years, yeah. so that, that, that bodes fun. well for yeah. the Osprey design. Hopefully that'll last a long time for you. Yeah. I like okay. Um, both of these devices were made with uh, ABS plastic, um, and the, the glossy surface is because I treated them with uh, an acetone vapor. So you basically put the printed parts into a, a, a container and you heat up some acetone and it creates a vapor that basically melts the outer surface. And that gives it a nice shiny look, but it also makes the parts move more smoothly so you don't have the friction and the noise that's sometimes associated with uh, 3D prints that are done in, in PLA or other materials that, that can't be treated that way. So uh, that's how these were done. Uh, like I said, the Cyborg Beast is uh, probably about a $35 cost of assembly, and the Osprey is uh, around a $50 cost of assembly. So these are overall you know, fairly inexpensive uh, to make. Um, because you're using a 3D printer to produce most of the parts. Uh, it takes uh, about a, a couple of days, I would say, on average to print all of the components for either one of these designs. Uh, and then uh, assembly time on something like this, the Cyborg Beast, was uh, roughly an hour and a half, I'd say, on average. The Osprey takes a little bit longer because you've got some leather work to do. You've got to cut the leather to the right size. You've got to uh, put holes through it, and, and there's a lot of screws involved in the, in the assembly process. So it takes a lot longer. This was also my first time doing one. I would say it took about uh, three hours to put the Osprey together, but I expect if I was to do it more you know, uh, frequently, it would certainly get easier and probably would only take an hour and a half to two hours to assemble one of those. So um, any other uh, uh, comments or any suggestions on what could make it better or anything I'm, like that? If it is possible to make this how it is like this right now to maybe, maybe put like a little ratchet to move a thumb down, it's not like you grab a glass. Uh, so in other words, the ability to operate the thumb without bending the other fingers? Yeah, without bending, yeah, just like, like a little... Ah, oh, interesting. Right? So you're saying have a mechanism that would allow you to manually sort so, of lock it into yeah, a bent you know position? It, it goes like this right now, but uh, instead, so I grab a glass. Oh, so an actual difference. So instead of coming down like this, yeah. be able to come in right. kind of from the side. Yeah, like a little... I, I think somebody's done that with one of our other Enable designs. I saw a mechanism that allows you to sort of shift the position yeah, of the thumb. Them. Um, that's a great suggestion. I'll have to uh, see if something like that would be possible for this. I, I don't know with the current design it would be possible, but maybe with a modification of some sort. 
um, that's something that we could look into. Because if I have a glass right now, if I if I grab it, it'll tip the water. I see. It okay. Can. Okay. Um, what other things have you found that it works well for, or doesn't work as well for? It works. It works good for basically everything I do at work. That's okay. What I need it for. Really. Okay. And you use it for driving too, yeah, right? For driving too, yeah. yeah I can use grip it. the steering wheel. I okay. grip the steering wheel, yeah, and drive. Okay, good, good. Well, I'm glad it's working out so well for you, and I, I hope you get many more years of use out of this. Since you put these rubber things, in, yeah, I grip the steering wheel a lot better. Good. Okay, <laughs> and those haven't fallen off or no. anything. Okay, yeah, I put them on there with some rubber uh, cement, so hopefully those will stay in place. Um, oh, no, it was a uh, hot glue gun that we used actually for those, so hopefully that'll that'll hold well. Um, so, um, so one other question, Jose, is how long do you tend to use this device at one time? Are you using it all day long, generally, or how many hours? I, I use like six hours. Oh, so I, about I, six I, hours at hours. a time. Yeah. Okay, wow. So, and it and it does. You don't get. Do you get discomfort after? You know, towards the end of that time period at all? Does it tend it just to rub? It gets a little sweaty sometimes. Okay. But uh, otherwise, other than that. It's, 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 Works good. Okay, um, and do you find that that's a little bit less of an issue with the leather compared to the the uh, foam that was in here, or is there any difference? No, there's no little difference. That one got, got it's one a little shorter, so it yeah, doesn't that's, cover as yeah, much like as the other. This one a little longer. Okay, all right. So, but you are using it for about six hours oh, on end. Yeah, oh, that's great. Okay, um, so it uh, doesn't cause a lot of discomfort after no. long use. You, did you use the, when you were using the Cyborg Beast before, was that about the same? Were you using it about it six about hours a day? About the same, but that, these uh, kept slipping. Okay. And the yeah, little rubber piece that you gave me kept falling off. I see. Okay. So, so maybe I put, I put those on. something like this would yeah. work a little bit better. Okay. Um, all right. So, yeah. Def so the, having some kind of extra grip on the fingertips yeah. helps, though? Yeah. Okay. Well, they got that little, I don't know, it's called dip something. Plasti dip, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we used to use that stuff. It's a little bit hard to, uh, to work with. It gets kind of messy, and, and I, I don't know that it does as well as something that's nice and thick and rubbery yeah. like this. Um, but that's, a, that's another option. Maybe I could get something like rubbery here to... Uh, to help with the grip? Yeah. So some kind of a rubber pad maybe that's an adhesive yeah. that we could stick on there. Yeah, or, or you could screw it on. Sure, okay. Oh, that's a good idea, okay. So that would help to grip things better? Yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. Any other suggestions for the design? No, other than this and the thumb, that's... Okay. And I like these gloves they put on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are nice. Yeah. That was a suggestion from Peter Binkley. Um, and like I said, I don't remember the name of those gloves that were used. It was something that I got from Amazon. I'll, I'll share the link to those in the uh, in the video when I post that. Um, okay. Well, um, I don't think I have any other questions right now. So, Jose, I really appreciate you coming over today, oh, and uh, we'll get you that Allen wrench and, and make some adjustments on the Osprey hand here. Okay. So, uh, thanks everyone for watching. Bye bye. Okay.